Hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new Welcome Miss Cherries In today's video I'll be doing my first impressions of this new products from ABH I have the highlighter I never tried their highlighters and brow products I'm so so excited and also I got the brow freeze brow setting wax um these two uh release a lot excuse me but they're nice a lot of products I think before quarantine before co I think you know I don't want to say that word but you know what I mean <laughs> and then suddenly just stopped releasing products and I don't know what happened to ABH, so they finally released new products. Uh, this came out, I think, last week. So I'm so excited to use these guys. And before I'm going to do my first impressions of makeup tutorials, if you love makeup reviews, please don't forget to subscribe on my channel. If you're a makeup enthusiast, if you're a makeup lover like myself, please don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Click the bell to be notified every time I upload my videos. Now let's get into the video. Now starting, okay, I'm starting off with the Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax. So this one is good for six months. It has 0.28 ounces or eight grams. It is made in the USA. So this one right here, it's a really good um plastic uh packaging so the one that i have been um uh, using is this one from gap to b this is not exactly a uh, you know for the brows for the hair but this one just makes everything really really nice like i have really stubborn brows this one would not budge would not move i mean i am really impressed but with this it breaks me out a little bit get like weird bumps i mean the bumps are gone right now i mean they don't i don't have any bumps right now but sometimes it you know breaks me out so i tried the next one but this did not last a long time i mean it did not do anything for my brows i think the, my brows i like you know my brows stick to my skin this one only lasted i think maybe three hours on me so um, you know i was kind of disappointed because you know very very inexpensive nine dollars but did not work on me but the other one the pencil from next this one i brought pencil or the pen the brows is really really good so now i'm gonna do um a demo of this so i always like to use my patrick ta brush this one i bought this together with the brow wax from patrick ta that one i ran out already um that one it worked better than the next one so i but still i really wanted to try something like clear like the uh, got to be hair gel this one i mean nothing beats this four dollars um, um brow gel but it breaks me out just a tiny, tiny bit so this one i was really really excited so let me show you guys that's enough talking as you can see i already um tried this one once i think it was last saturday and i think it worked a little bit better than the next brow gel so i'm gonna do this one again so same as you know first impressions uh, because i haven't really like tried this for the whole week i'm gonna uh, coat the brush this one's really really nice from patrick and i'm just gonna coat a little bit i'm gonna put a little bit more because i have really stubborn brows so i already coat my brush i don't know if you could see the product so i'm gonna do um apply this one sorry on my brows because i have really stubborn brows there you go here here and i really it feels really cold <laughs> oh wow oh wow okay yes just one application of this like boom my brows like uh, stick or oh, the brow hairs are stick to my skin i like you know my brow hairs stick to my skin and oh my god this is really really nice and also you know i love laminated brows i do this all the time press the product in i have been doing this uh lately i um learned this technique from patrick Ta when he uh came out with um brow wax the tinted one and then I'm gonna do the same thing on my left side. You know, I'm gonna coat. I'm gonna coat a little bit more because um, with my stubborn 
Oh, actually, no, I'm gonna apply just a tiny, tiny bit. I'm gonna dip this brush again. I'm gonna be using the NYX Cosmetics. This is called the Brow Tint Pen. This one's really, really nice. This one is the only one that I really like from NYX. Um, I did not like the um, brow gel. So this one's really nice. It's the color black. So I'm just gonna focus on the on my Tomo area right here. The, um, this side is my right. So my left. So I'm just gonna fill in my left side really quickly. And then um, I'll be right back with um, applying the sorry applying the uh, Natasha or ABH Eye Style Highlighter. And I am back and I am done with my brows. Oh my god, it took me a long time. So I think they look a little bit better right now. I might have applied a little bit on this side. But, you know, I don't have time to fix it. You know, it is what it is. So now I'm moving on with the Eye Style Highlighter. So this one looks really white. But it's a really light green with a shift of green to it. So let's see this see. And I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. And I'm also gonna compare this one with the Dior because it's kind of similar. It's very, very shimmery though. I uh, wore this one last Saturday only once, as you can see. It's a very, very light gold with a shift of green to it. Oh my god, that is pretty. And it's also very, very shimmery. Reminds me so much of the Dior. Dior Glow Highlighter. This is the um, Glow Face Palette in the shade Pure Gold. And I'm gonna swatch um, these two shades because they're almost very similar. And this is the Dior Glow right here. Ooh. And then this is the other color. And here. So the middle one is the Anastasia. These two right here from the yours, you can see very, very similar. Um, I think these two are very similar. This one right here from Dior, this one, and this is the ABH. You can see guys, very shimmery. I think almost like same formulation. And the colors are very very similar. This one has a little bit of bronze to it, a bronze tint, but very similar. Oh, I'm so excited! And also, this one is also really really nice. So the ABH retails for thirty four dollars, and it has um how many in here? Um. 11 grams or 0.3 uh, 0.39 ounces or 11 grams actually that's not not a bad um, amount and this one's good for 18 months and it's made in italy i think same as the dior one yeah the year is yeah same okay yeah, that's why can, the formulation is very very similar then i'm gonna use this brush i don't have like a big brush but I have something similar to the ABH brush. This one is from Wet n Wild from the I think I don't know what collection, but this one's really good. And I'm gonna apply this one. So you can see, no fallout. Bam! Wow, it's gold with a hint of green to it. Oh, this is pretty and also shimmery. There you go, and I'm gonna apply it right here. Now I'm gonna tell you my thoughts about these new Abage products. I actually really, really like like these products so far, especially, especially the brow freeze because you know I love this got to be, but this breaks me out a tiny bit. So um. 
this one um very i mean sorry this one's very similar of course but it's not as strong as the uh, got to be but very very similar and i hope that this one will not break me out very easy to apply i coat my brush you know this is amount i mean a little bit more than you know the usual because i have really stubborn brows um so this one is just when i brush my brows I, they stick to my brows and my hair brow my brow hair stick to my skin right away like effortlessly effortlessly that sounds really weird so this one's really really nice if you're into laminated brows into feathery looking brows i love laminated brows and i am very like impressed with this so far um i did not smell anything so i didn't smell anything at all um did not feel like crunchy like did not feel like i had something on my brows which i really really you know like so this one so far really, really good 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 and this one i have to say very similar to the dior backstage glow face highlighter so um the shades very similar these two shades right here um these light shades um which one these two very very similar to this one and very very shimmery so both are you know made in italy so let's go talk about this one um you can see you know you already seen the color white but um i'm not sure if this one's good for all skin tones i have like light um medium skin tone so i'm not sure if this one you know um will would work to like a darker or a tan skin tone but for my skin it looks really really nice as you can see guys so it was really 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 nice smooth powder very fine very shimmery very very shimmery applied very smoothly so i'm very very impressed with this highlighter so far i'm really glad that i purchased this nice a plastic packaging but good quality plastic packaging so those are all my thoughts of the new products from AVH and let me know guys what you think about the new products from AVH or purchase anything this is the end of my video please don't forget to subscribe on my channel if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up and I hope to see you all on my next video bye bye